Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about some of the new features released in Power Automate using which we can format data with the help of an example. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications for all the newly updated videos. But before that, here is a short intro. Now I am in my Power Automate developer environment and inside my flows, we are going to create one new uh, Power Automate flow and we are going to create it as automatic cloud flow and we are going to provide it as name format data from example demo. Okay, and we are going to select a trigger for this flow is going to be when a new item has been added into reset point list and we are going to use that trigger when an item is created okay let me just click create okay so let me select one of my share point site collection delta taste and the list name is flooring estimates okay so the next step would be to send an email what we want to do is we want to send an email uh, with some formatted data so we will select that trigger provide the two to my email address that is secure the way the subject is this is an example for the uh, let's say example for the format format by example that's fine let me just provide proper name okay now let me just go and add some of the values of the uh, list like name category price right and the fourth one is created and then modified five items the next thing what we want to do is i want to save this flow once that is saved i can test it manually by adding a new list item so to do that, I, what I will do is I will go into this my flooring estimate list and try to add new item. Let me add some data like wooden wooden floor tiles, wooden floor tiles. The category would be like say let's say tiles. The price is around eight point ninety six. Let's say uh, that's fine. I can I can add some image later on. There is some overview link and i'm going to add one image for that file and let me hit save so as you can see my new entry has been added in this particular list and as you can see my flow has been done successfully and i have also received an email into my account that will be a very simple email with the subject line which we have provided and it will have all the details from my list like wooden floor tiles values and everything so the next step what we want to do is we want to format this data so let's say i want to format this price value so what i will do in that case is i will just click on this price and let's go into the expression there is one more thing which you are seeing right now is called as format by example and format data by example and if you click on that you can search for all of the available columns let's say price and in here we have to provide the example value for price let's say 8.58 and what should be the desired output let's say i want to display it with some value let's say price hyphen and whatever value let's say 8.58 so what it will do is will it will go and create this expression regular expression which will provide us the output in that matter in that manner so to test it, I will add 8.58 and taste it will provide the output as price 8.58. Now I can just go and click apply. It will provide this applying suggested expression dialog. Hit OK. So as you can see, now my price has been converted to this formula expression. Let me test again with the automatic value which we have just succeeded. Save and test. 
So as you can see, it will go and run my Power Automate flow one more time. And it, this time we will receive one more email where my value has been changed from 8.96 to the price 8.96. Okay, so in the same way, we want to change our created value that is a date time expression. So we can use that same format data by example uh, expression one more time. Select the column that is created, and uh, we want we can provide some some example date time. Let me just pick one from my email address. Uh, sorry, that email. Let me just go and copy this one. Yes, and put it in here. So and what? output we desired output we want we want it to have in this particular manner like october october 17 2022 and let's click on get expression so if i provide that same data again and click on test it will give me the output in this manner hit apply and got it now as you can see my date time value has also been formatted let's test it again so if you can see my flow has ran successfully now and i have also received one email which is having my new date in there okay so in this way we can have different formatting using the example values from our power automate flow okay so the third thing what i wanted to show is the, this format date by example we want to use this quantity column the quantity column is basically a uh, uh, number column and uh, we want to show it with some value like uh, sorry that is a currency in terms of that so we can show the dollar value that is a number so we can use a dollar so if i enter eight it will give me dollar eight point twenty five uh sorry eight eight point zero zero if i add eight point twenty five it will give dollar eight point twenty five right that is a format number right so if i again go and save this and test it using the same same uh, type of values let me just save it again and now let's yeah let's wait for it to save let's click on test with test succeeded value and hit test my flow will run again and it will send me the another email which is having my third value which is available with the new value like dollar twenty five. The value is twenty five, so now it's dollar twenty five point zero zero. Okay, so this is the way how you can use this particular format by data example value. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.